Nice. Nice. Uh, also, as this is available on Epic, we're an Epic partner. If you do end up buy buying this on there and use the code COHH, it helps support the channel. We appreciate it. And as always, thank you for it. I feel like an airline guy when I say that. Exits are at the back, left and right of the plane. How may thank you for gifting that sub. I appreciate it. <clears throat> the beers start early today, says Afriel. Nice. Nice. Okay. We can just continue. Wait. What what did that say? Oh, there it is. Yeah, murder murder on Aerodonos installed. Okay, great. Great. All right, so we should be good. We should be good. Okay, so we're currently doing pretty well. We've got tons of ammo. We've got tons of healing. Uh, we've got some great modded weapons. Although I think we're going to be replacing these uh, in this DLC, apparently. So that could be a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and repair all the things. Repair all equipped. Wow. Oh, 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 that's not how much it costs. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, we're good there. So let's go back here. Now let's kind of look through and break down everything we don't need. So you are our engineering up. You are our lock pickup. We don't need you. Let's add you to junk. Medical? Do you have a medical thing? It's medical plus three. I remember a lot of these things we save just because they have bonuses. Hack plus five. We've got a lock pick ten, so we don't need anything under lock pick. Uh don't think we need you. You look important though. You've got the, the goldy background, which means you're unique. So we're gonna want to keep unique stuff just because I have been the whole time. Um let's actually put the unique stuff in here first. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we're gonna transfer. And let's put the unique armor in here that we're not gonna use. We're not gonna use you. Or you, although bonus to extra headshot weak spot damage. That seems pretty good. Maybe we'll hang on to that. Um, Break down. Oh yeah, that's right. Everything's super easy breaking down in this game. Break down, break down, break down, break down. Break down, break down, break down. Okay. Dialogue skills 10. We want that. Put you away. Put you away. Put you away. Okay. Cool. We're still really weighty though. Um, where is all of our weight? We don't have armor or weapons. It must be in here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, hmm. Okay. I think we have some stuff up top. Okay, that's right. We are totally decked in this game. I forgot. Where are we right now? We are currently in our ship. We're just about to start the DLC in just a little bit. I'm getting everything kind of ready first. Let's lower the mouse needs to be a little bit. So like there. Here's our nice room. Captain Hawthorne used to be more dashing. Rude. That's how I respond to that, by the way. Uh, okay, so this is our bin. So we're going to put, like, most of the stuff in here, I think. This... Is this 0.10 weight overall? Or is it... It's not per, right? Oh, it, it is definitely per. Okay. Put all that stuff in there for now. Uh, we want to keep the water. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can... Uh, is this where we keep our healing stuff? Let's see, let's see. Our healing stuff is stored, stored somewhere else, right? Let's do this. Let's put everything in here and we'll, we'll take out some food and water and stuff. And that should shave an absolute bajillion off of our weight. Vesalia says minutes early. Yes, I'm a little bit early today. Um, basically I wanted to get everything ready so we can start the DLC like right at eight o'clock. 
Adreno is the healing stuff. Okay, cool. Cool. Great. <clears throat> All right. That helped amazingly. Let's also go ahead and pop the mods off. We can always come get these mods again. Ah, see, that's a much better way. Now we can loot in all of our glory. Okay, so looking at our healing, we have like none now? Yeah, we have one healing pack now. Okay. So we're gonna look in here again. And we're gonna first take out, we need a bunch of food. So let's see, where's my water? Let's just go to here. Uh, there's, there's some of our water. There's our dehydrated water tablets. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, we're gonna bring the wrapped on meat. Oh, that's really heavy. Maybe not the wrapped on meat. Here we go. 25% health over two seconds. Okay, so we're gonna bring, how do I split this? Is it shift click? Right click, control click, shift click, hold. Shift, drag, click, control, drag, click, alt, click. <laughs> Trying to remember how to do this. It's been it's been a hot minute, chat. Um, there's some way to split these stacks, right? Co click. Oh, I don't I don't think it's co click. Two hours later, right? R click, T click, L click. Um, I, I know there's some way to do it, but I don't remember what. Uh, let's do. What is this? Oh, it's our spikes. Good, they don't weigh anything. This stuff doesn't weigh anything either. It's just E. Ah. All right, so we'll bring, uh, let's bring 100. We'll bring 100 of you. We'll bring 100 of you. Wait, is this one what? I uh, don't know if I want the crash. Let's see. So what we can do is we can load different things into our health our health jobby. So we need to decide what we want in here. So right now we've got the borst, can of borst baked beans. We've got our adrenochrome here and we need to add another consumable. So we need to decide what else we want in here. Oh, there's 407 healers here. Uh, wait, but it, this gets used, right? Does it say times 407? Then it has 101 at the top. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Probably because I'm being dumb. It's because I'm being dumb. Sniper critical damage and bonus extra headshot. Okay, we'll bring this. This looks good. Put that in there. And I'd like to bring something like that meat, but that's a little bit less huge. Uh, we can bring this food to eat. We can bring some bread to eat. And... Let's see. I need, need something that helps health. I need something that helps health. Some kind of food item. I don't... Can we inhale bread? <laughs> can we put bread in an inhaler? Um... That just seems weird. We can put meat in an inhaler, I think. Ew. Uh, let's just... You know what? We'll go ahead and bring that meat, I think. We'll just bring a little bit of it. Like 50 of it. Yeah, we'll do that. Or is it down here? So we're actually the spring like uh, 25. Okay. Boop. Oh wait, the board, so we'll take, we'll do that. There we go. And then we'll put the, this here. So now every time we use our healing, we'll get 25% base health, 15% critical damage, and 25% bonus headshot extra damage. Cool. So we get all sorts of buffs when we use that. Nice, nice. I feel like we need another drink before we go. We have an abundance of a drink. Sugary drink. Bring that. And plain and pure water. Bring that too. Okay. Awesome. And it's uh, 8 o'clock. So let's do this. Now I heard that there's new stuff with this. Uh, particularly, there's new levels and perks. Where are the new perks? I don't see them. Maybe we have to start the DLC. Didn't it say there's new perks in this DLC? Not today, Sam. 
I am not in the mood for a deep clean. Oh, all right. Some culprit, who shall not be named, spilled Rizzo's lemon slap on my console. Oh. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? You mentioned an ether wave drama. I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. It was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants. Had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one <laughs> Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. <laughs> okay. How about I just call you Lou? How about not? Okay, Lou. Ah, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. Murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. And your first thought was to come to me? All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, Sublight's favorite freelancer. I'm such an admirer of your work. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is... A heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Never heard of Sudlight under, uh, Underground. Don't worry. You and I are going to become very close acquaintances. I run the Grand Colonial Hotel and Piraeus Spaceport. Ludovico and I are business partners, in a manner of speaking. Eridanos is our shared responsibility. Eridanos is not our shared responsibility. Eridanos is my responsibility, to which you and your organization have latched on like a parasite. Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Yes! 
Do you really want to do no. this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. Wow. Let them argue. We can do this anytime you want. I'll even make an appointment. I'm sure your schedule's wide open. What with your product launch being indefinitely delayed due to unforeseen murder. All right, Cedric. If that's how you want to behave, I have no choice but to file an official reprimand on your permanent record. Oh, please do. I'd love an official reprimand from a failed executive. Could you do me a favor and have it laminated? Could we please stop this nonsense? <laughs> Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You're reliable and competent. You've been taking care of yourself ever since you arrived on Halcyon. Thanks, Tech. And you're entirely independent. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Inspector Co. I like the sound of that. Just how many people are involved in this communication? Just the three of us. Okay. Just checking. It's getting hard to follow this with all the arguing. You must excuse us. The situation on Eridanos is tense. If we don't bring Helen's killer to justice, this scandal could scupper our entire operation. Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. Okay. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. But Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Helen must have been pretty popular for death could put an end to her operation. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Hey, Jasper. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. You seem competent. You could have dealt with this. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. You sound a bit worn out. Me? Worn out? <laughs> Perish the notion. My days are filled with catering to the... Oh, so reasonable requests of Mr. Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon. What's not to like? They seem like jackasses. Your words, not mine. Please don't take my lack of disagreement as anything other than fatigue. I am a content, productive, and happy member of our society. They have some issues. The administrator oversees Rizzo's operations. Cedric runs the hotel and the spaceport. They're always at each other's throats. My life would be so much easier if they'd simply learn to work together. Okay, got everything I need. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now clear cool. to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. What can you tell me about it? Eridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos Atmospheric Complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. Oh, that's cool. I don't know why they're trusting me to catch Halcy and Helen's killer. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, inebriation, <laughs> and... Genuine faith in your abilities. Thanks. Okay, uh, a couple quick things I saw in chat. We'll, we'll address them from top to bottom. Why are we playing Outer Worlds again? We're playing Outer Worlds again because Obsidian gave us a key to their brand new DLC called Murder at Eridanos. This is the second major DLC for Outer Worlds, and I'm extremely excited to play it. 
Uh, although I wasn't a big fan of the main story arc of the last DLC, I did love the world and the side quests and the area that it added to the game. So I'm hoping that this game kind of improves on the main story arc, makes it a little bit more interesting, which it already is sounding like it might be, and uh, also develops that kind of world of Outer Worlds, which I, I think is really kind of the strong point of this game. Uh, second question, why is this save not with the completion of the DLC? Apparently when I completed the DLC, it didn't save properly that, or maybe it didn't upload properly. So unfortunately our, our save game is right before the last quest of the previous DLC. I don't think we need to finish it for this DLC. If we do need to, we can run back and finish it. We're only, it, it's literally like 15 minutes from the end. Um, and I don't think we got any major, um, major gear or anything from completing it. So we're just going to go with uh, this save and kind of go from there. So, yeah. It doesn't save on this difficulty until until you leave the area. Well, I remember at the end of the last DLC, we had to come into here. So it should have saved when we entered the ship and talked to them on the thing here. So third question, what did you have for breakfast this morning? A banana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, also, real quick to catch people up. This is our previous save game. It's kind of a 100% run. We have some pretty nice weapons. We have a, a full machine gun. Uh, we've got a heavy repeating sniper rifle. We've got a really nice longer range kind of higher hitting sniper rifle. A little bit slower, but it can headshot a lot better. And uh, then we have this thing, and I don't remember what this thing is. <laughs> I don't remember what this thing is. I think it's a... Uh, is this experimental device was created to keep employees on their feet regardless of how much pain or exhaustion they may be experiencing. As all good workers know, unconsciousness is just another word for wage theft. So I think it like knocks people out, maybe? Um, I don't remember exactly, but I had it equipped, so obviously it did something good. Uh, in terms of armor, we're wearing a, uh, a an elite troop armor gold with a lot of armor and then a charged defensive helmet, so we're doing pretty well there. And uh, then we have a bunch of gear that we basically have set up to uh, help us with different skills and stuff as we need in the game. Yeah. Also, uh, I noticed this last night. Uh, tell me something here. I can hit F5 and it quick saves. I thought I couldn't do that on this difficulty. And, it, and, and I'm definitely on Supernova. Maybe they added quick saving in our ship. Did they add that? In the ship. You can quick save on the ship only. Cool. Okay. I think I think they added that last DLC I just forgot. Alright. Let's do this. Impress me, Obsidian. Impress me. I'm really hoping that this DLC is awesome. Because this is like potentially one of the last major releases before Avowed. So if this DLC is really good, then this could be like a great way to get pumped for Avowed. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <clears throat> Obsidian Veneer says, I'm sorry, I doubt I can impress you. Well, I'm not talking to you. <sighs> Did we have uh, RP walking in this game? We have sprinting. I don't think, I don't think we can, can we walk? Maybe I have to use, oh, is this the one that I have to use a controller? <clears throat> I think so. Yeah, I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that I have the controller set up so I can actually like walk around slowly. I think I'm going to do that. Cool. By the way, uh, small, small thing in the off chance that someone from Obsidian watches this, please add an RP walk button to PC. We love your environments and worlds. Please let us walk very slowly through them and appreciate them. Thank you. <laughs> please. I know it's a small thing, but please. It's not the same teams making this an avowed. Okay. Okay. Well, even then, I mean, it's, it's still the same company. There's definitely, there's definitely overlap, I'd say. Ooh. Very rapture-y. I want a swagger button, that's right. I do. Dude, look at this. Oh, I like it.
Oh, music seems on point too. Poke around the landing pad real quick. Light Pistol Mark 3. We'll just go ahead and pick everything up for now. Kind of sort through it later, see if we have any new items. I think they added a new a new item level in this DLC as well, so we should be getting upgrades to most of our gear. Oh, hi. They're my two my two ladies, Parvati and Ellie. My, uh, my crew of choice. Love these girls. Flywheel? Okay. What a surprise! Ko's gonna pick up everything. I know. I'm I'm here to to really uh up as as leered. You'd be good. Um, hey Sean, how you doing today, bud? Pneumatic piston. Okay. All right. Pretty sky. Let's go. Watch out. This place is half sublight thugs and half top rungers on vacation. Both are dangerous. Mm. Hey, PG King. Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. Slug. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the Inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Can you fill me in on the details of the murder? I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the Grand Ballroom. Oh my. Corpse wasn't in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling has been indefinitely postponed. Everyone says Helen's guilty! Helen's death has been a shock <laughs> for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. We should ask if they're comping the minibar. This might take a while if you get me. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Uh, by the way, for those asking what's what's going on with his skin, um, if this is what I think it is, this is actually a, a, a real skin condition. Uh, I went to school with somebody who had it similarly. Um, it's, it's, I think it's just an actual condition. Uh, vit vitiligia, vitiligo? Yeah. It's a skin pigmentation thing. Kind of awesome that they would include that. Vit, vitil igo. Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's total. From what I understand, it's totally harmless. It's just a yeah, it's just a thing. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty cool to see that like in this game. It's kind of fun. All right. Uh, was she a, decis a divisive figure? Mm, not particularly, but I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. How'd she get so famous? Why, she was a natural. People fell in love with her. She managed to wrangle up a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high-runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the spectrum unveiling, or lack thereof. It's still an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. I thought you worked for Slug, not... Well, I need to... We may not be able to re revisit these, so I need to be reading all these options. Um, I thought you worked for Slug, not Rizzo's. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice, mutually beneficial event. Okay. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with... Nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. 
Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. What bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage, your belongings, kit, wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? <laughs> no, that would be ridiculous. Lie. No, that would be ridiculous. Of course I do. Are you telling me you don't? <laughs> well, uh, reckon I can respect your candor, even if it scares me a smidge. Anyhow, Little I'll fourth look wall for there. you in the grand ballroom <laughs> later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. Cool. Okay. Okay. 